Hi guys, it's Maca Pussy here and we're back with another song reaction and today we are doing the song Safe and Sound by Taylor Swift. I wonder why uh, why I'm doing that song? Because I did Carolina, which was, frankly, the best song that Taylor Swift, Swift has ever done, right? I don't want to hear any arguments as. When I said that in the video, you guys then came along and went, you should do Safe and Sound because it's very similar, but it's possibly better. And I'm thinking, is it? Is it though? There's only going to be one way to find out. So we're going to go in, we're going to check it out, and then we're going to see how emo is Taylor Swift. Now, I know we've done a whole bunch of times where we've said that she's quite emo. We're going to keep on doing it. We're going to hammer home the point that Taylor Swift is emo until you guys realise you're all emo. Every fucking one of you. I can kind of see why people were putting this in the comments to the Carolina song because musically they're very similar and they've got a kind of similar mood but where Carolina she was kind of focusing on a deeper register and a lot of that was kind of really quiet low vocals this one's really breathy high vocals so it's kind of nice to see the contrast between the two different singing styles with the same type of music I would say Personally, I prefer our lowers register because it was just husky. It was nice. Our, our voice is fucking beautiful in this. And melodically, it's gorgeous. I was actually going to say it kind of reminds me a bit of the Civil Wars, but Civil Wars turns out are also doing the back and singing in this, so that makes total fucking sense. It was also giving me kind of Lisa Hannigan vibes which is not a bad thing. Taylor Swift is at her best when she's doing like acoustic indie country. These songs are, these songs are miles above the likes of Look What You Made Me Do. Not a good song. Not a good song. It has this, this, head and shoulders above that. And the, the thing that's really frustrating for me is that Look What You Made Me Do is, I knew that song. I knew that song, it'd been, on, it'd been in the radio, it'd been on the charts, it'd been on the TV. Like, you couldn't get away from that song. That's what they were pushing as, this is Taylor Swift. Whereas, this is Taylor Swift. Or at least it fucking well should be. And okay, she can have the pop side, and because obviously, like, she's an artist, she's allowed to have different sides of her persona, and she should explore that. Absolutely. 100%. But at the same time, if this got pushed as much as the pop stuff does, there, there would be an entire litany of people like myself who had written her off who would actually go, oh, hold on a second, I don't like this side of it, but I fucking love this side of it. That's frustrating. And when you say that in the video, a lot of Taylor Swift fans then come in and honestly go fucking off on one. But I don't think what I'm saying is that controversial. If you're outside of the Swifty circle and you don't like her is generally speaking because you haven't heard songs like this and you don't know that she has this ability and when you're presented with this ability you then see a completely different side to her as an artist that makes you go oh hold on a second my preconceptions were completely wrong but the preconceptions until you deep dive off your own back you're not going to deliberately go and check this song out. You're not going to listen to Look What You Made Me Do and go, 
I feel like I should maybe go and see if there's some deeper cuts on that album that, that are a bit kind of acoustic and a bit more in my wheelhouse. They're going to go, ah, so she sounds like a shit Black Eyed Peas. And that's kind of what I've been saying from the start, but it's been difficult for me to really formulate that in a way that comes across as anything other than me just shitting on Taylor Swift and being on my fucking high horse, which I was never intending to do. It was just weird to me that there was this side of her that I had never experienced before. Most of that was going to get cut from, cut from YouTube. entire segment there was fucking gorgeous the layered harmonies the guy for the civil wars i mean so right, the civil wars is an acoustic duo and i think they might have been man and wife i'm possibly wrong on that their whole usp was that they had like just kind of really nice acoustic country rock songs i want to say rock it's more kind of indie they then had pitch perfect harmonies with each other where he had like quite a deep voice and she had quite a high voice and it was just really really nice when it went together when you've got that in the background while taylor's just kind of lilting over the top of it where falsetto no it's just it's lovely also during the chorus there was just a really lovely bit of fucking slidey guitar with, with a lot of reverb on it that just it added just a nice wee bit of texture to the music which uh this song's gorgeous. I still prefer Carolina, because Carolina hit me right in the fucking feels. Close your eyes. You'll be alright. Come on, light. You and I'll be safe and sound. beautiful you've got his singing's in this year the the woman from civil wars is in this year and taylor swift is kind of in the middle and it's just mm, all three of their voices went together beautifully i feel like because of the way that she was singing where she was using like a really bravey voice and she was singing quite high she was pushing herself to the limit of being able to hit the notes which i felt give it gave it a bit of emotion that the song wouldn't have had ordinarily so i feel like she basically 
chose a style of singing. Like if she was singing with a full voice, she would have she would have hit those notes absolutely fine. But because she chose to go really really breathy and kind of intimate with it, then it sounded always as if she was on the verge of not quite making it, which then lent a bit of kind of emotion in there and a bit of tension, I think was to the benefit of the song, personally. That would, uh, that was honestly fantastic. But the real question is, how emo was that song? Guitars. I'm going to say the guitar work was about there with twinkliness, because it wasn't overly twinkly, but it was nice. It was nice. And the wee slide guitar, it was nice and twinkly. And then the singing, as we've just discussed, because of the style of the singing that she was doing, it wasn't overwrought. It was about there. That, guys, is how emo Safe and Sound by Taylor Swift was. Let me know in the comments, where does that rank in your opinion of Taylor Swift songs? Is it above Carolina? Is it, is it below Carolina? I've been Mark Abusi, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.